Hello and welcome to the newsroom here at the stories we are following at this time. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. The expected Wednesday arraignment of the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emiefele, over an alleged procurement fraud to the tune of 6.9 billion naira has again been stored. The matter was not listed on the course list of the Federal Capital Territory High Court in Abuja, also with no reason given as lawyers to both parties were absent in court. President Bola Hamed Tinubu has directed the Director General of the National Identity Management Commission, Aliyu Aziz, to embark on a 90-day pre-retirement leave. President Tinubu, in a statement, also approved the immediate appointment of Biso Yekoka Ade Shote as the new DG of the agency. This move, according to the National Association of Telecoms uh, subscribers, may usher a breath of fresher into the national identity space as the agency has been besieged by many issues. Nasarawa State Governor Abdullahi Sule has promised to ensure equitable sharing of the federal and the state government's palliative to all the residents of the state, irrespective of religious, ethnic and political inclinations, to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal in the state. Governor Sule will make a promise at a flag off of distribution of food items as palliative to the people of the state, said the exercise, which will be replicated in Akwanga and Kefi on Wednesday and Thursday respectively, is meant to bring sukkah to the people, especially with the hardship being experienced across the country. The U.S. government says it has awarded $1.4 billion for the development of new therapies and vaccines against COVID-19, including a $326 million contract with Raging Neuron Pharmaceuticals for a next-generation antibody therapy for prevention of infections. The funding to Regeneron is a part of a $5 billion initiative dubbed Project Next Gen by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The Minister of Transportation has announced plans to procure a fleet of electric vehicles. The newly sworn in Minister of Transportation, Saido Alkali, made this known in Abuja when he resumed duty as uh, the ministry. According to him, with the procurement of these vehicles, there will be a decrease in the, ex uh, the expense of transportation, which is presently high because of the elimination of fuel subsidies. On the foreign scene, a railway bridge being built in India has collapsed, killing at least 26 workers and injuring two, police said, as the state-run railway authority opened an investigation. According to authorities, the accident happened in Sirat town in the northeastern state of Mizoram. Media reported that up to 40 workers were at the site when the bridge collapsed, but police said 28 workers were present. In sports, England number 8, Billy Vunipola will miss the opening game of the Rugby World Cup against Argentina after he was handed a three-match suspension on Wednesday following a red card against Ireland at the weekend. Vunipola's ban will be reduced to two games if he undertakes a coaching intervention program, which is almost certain to do, freeing him up for England's second World Cup Pool D clash against Japan. And that's it on the newsroom to join us at the top of the app for more stories. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. Bye for now.